Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to again with another true crime reading. This time it is on Casey Anthony. We're doing a Casey Anthony update. I did a reading on her three years ago, I think. I'll put a link to it up here. And a lot of what I said came true. Um, I said that she was probably going to try and get on TV, documentary or something, and it looks like that's happened. So a lot of people have been spamming me to do an update on her because her documentary came out, um, very controversial. Um, and they want me to look into the dynamic that she had with her family and take another look at the case. So I figured I might as well give an update, especially because I know a lot of people did not watch the older video. I've gotten a lot better. The camera quality has gotten a lot better. So I get it. Uh, three years is a long time. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, so I remember this case when it was going on. I was old enough to remember. So memories readings are all alleged for in-chambers only and let's get started. Okay, so Kate, Casey Anthony is the Queen of Cups. Okay. And then there's a Knight of Cups. Okay. A Six of Swords. And then Strength card reversed. Okay. So let's start this off by saying that obviously the Queen of Cups, this, there's, this, there was an, a, 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 basically, her daughter died, and a lot of people say, if you don't know the case, a lot of people say that she killed her, allegedly. Um, she went to trial and was found not guilty, right? Okay, so that's the backstory of this. So the Queen of Cups is probably not shocking considering she was the mother in the case. Um, there had to be some form of bond, even if she did do it, right? There had to be some form of bond there. Um, now, the Knight of Cups is reversed. So the Knight of Cups is immaturity. Again, if you follow this case, Previously, or if you watch my previous readings, probably not shocking to see that she was immature. Um, I mean, there were allegations of her partying. There were allegations of her um, being happy that she could just toss her kid off to her parents or whoever else. So not shocking to see her being a knight of, sword, knight of cups, excuse me, reverse, which is um, immaturity unwillingness to grow up. Um, the Six of Swords is about travel and it's also about running away. So I definitely see her as someone that wanted to run away from her problems, wanted to get away from um, her situation that makes sense, right? That kind of falls in line with the narrative. Um, the strength card is vulnerability though, which to me is about her having a breakdown. So I definitely think she had a complete breakdown at the time. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a level of disassociation or sort of like numbness um, because it does look like she completely broke down at that time. So I know there were pictures of her partying and stuff, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of those things where she snapped and then was just not like like I want I'm wondering if she snapped the situation happened and then she was void of all emotion um, because that's kind of what I'm seeing here it's kind of explaining what happened there in terms of uh, her behavior um, that being said the five of pentacles is upright which is about a power dynamic the star card is attention and the two of pentacles I do think that she really likes attention I think she's always really liked attention I think she's done things for attention consistently um, the two of pentacles tells me that for her um, she would be willing to do anything for attention. I also think there were some questionable things she did for money previously. I'm sure she's doing that now. Um, but I think it was just, I think that she's the type of person where, um, there was, she would be willing to do whatever it takes to get what she wants. That's the energy that I'm seeing, uh, with that dynamic. The moon is upright. That's not shocking either. The ace of cups is there and this temperance card is reversed. So um, temperance is impatience and imbalance in this deck. A lot of times it's gossip. The moon is lies, is see deception, the ace of cups. So we already know that she's a liar. Again, I haven't seen the documentary. I should probably say that I haven't watched the documentary yet. So I'm reading her with fresh eyes because I haven't seen, or I guess maybe that's not saying, but anyways, I'm reading her without seeing the documentary. So I don't know what new information there is there. Me personally, I don't really care, but I understand why other people do. Um, but as someone that grew up with the case, I don't really need to hear what she has to say. But anyways, um, that being said, the the moon and the ace of cups here, we know she lied. She lied a lot, a lot in the beginning. She was saying that like her, like all these lies about where she, the daughter was and where she was and where her parents were, and her dad was, we know she lies like a rug, like we get that. Um, but the Ace of Cups is there and the Temperance card is reversed, which means she's not the only liar. So the Ace of Cups is a bond that she shares with other people and the Temperance card is impatience and balance. I do, I do think that she's a liar, but I don't think she's the only liar. I also think she lies for other people as well. So for me, um, especially with the Two of Pentacles, I do think that there was um, other people um, 
involved. I do, and there it is. The Ten of Cups is family. Um, it's also happily ever after, but here it's family. The King of Cups is reversed. Now we see the Queen of Cups here and the King of Cups reversed, and the Nine of Pentacles is about doing things um, for yourself. So I'm gonna be honest, the way this reads with the King of Cups is about being disappointed in someone. So someone in her family who was disappointed in her, um, someone who was very emotionally detached, and the Knight of Pentacles, someone who feels like she only does things for herself. So for me, is this person someone who is a nice person? No, the King of Cups, probably not nice, probably kind of cold and mean, uh, distant, definitely some issues there. Um, yep, see, the Four of Cups is a detachment and apathy. The Four of Wands is the home and the Eight of Cups running away. Did she run away from home a lot? Um, I'm wondering if this is her dad. Did she run away from home a lot? Did her dad constantly have to like overcompensate for her behavior and then she was rebellious and then there was a weird dynamic between the two of them? I know people are talking about um, her blaming her dad for a lot of things in the documentary, but I haven't watched it, so I don't really know what was said, but I do think that the dynamic between the two of them was toxic. I think that he blames her as being like a bad kid and a rebellious kid who just lied all the time, which is not wrong. And then she blames him for a like, whatever it is that he did to her. Neglect is probably what I would say this reads as to me, which I don't think she's wrong either about that. I do think there's some neglect here, especially emotionally, allegedly for her chambers only. Um, however, the Nine of Pentacles makes me feel like he was very frustrated. Was she in a relationship or did she have a baby out of wedlock? Because I'm wondering if that was an issue for him. Because the Nine of Pentacles sometimes being single. So for me, I'm wondering like what the dynamic was. Did she have a boyfriend at the time? That's one one piece of information I don't really remember. Um, but for me, I think there's there's an issue he had with her doing things on her own. So I'm wondering if it was like being alone or having a baby or whatever. Um, also, when we're looking at the Nine of Pentacles, I think he just feels like, oh, she's selfish. Like you do things for yourself. This is another thing you've done for yourself. Is he religious? Hierophant reversed. Four of Pentacles. Is he religious? Knight of Swords. Greedy and selfish. And the Knight of Swords is like goody two shoes. I feel like he was very frustrated about a few things. One, I don't like frustrated that she wasn't married and having a baby. Two, there's some sort of religious or traditional indoctrination here. Um, that I feel like he was embarrassed by her. He was embarrassed by her. Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Fool. Yeah, I mean, I don't particularly see him as a great person. Um, he seems like someone who's very emotionally neglectful or potentially abusive or whatever. I'm not really sure. I can't really say, but definitely an issue with sharing his emotions healthily. We'll say that. Um, I don't see him as a nurturing person. I do see him as protective, overprotective. I see him as judgmental, but I also see him as kind of obsessed with a certain type of lifestyle, like a religious fanatic or someone who's like, you need to be like this, you need to have this, like very much strong in his belief systems. And if somebody opposed his belief systems, it would and put it past him to go a step further and maybe be potentially sort of aggressive or dominant. Um, could that be abuse? Sure, I'm not sure. I wasn't there. I'm not gonna make any claims. Don't sue me, whatever. However, what I will say with the fool, okay, the fool is about uh, naive energy um, and it's young energy, okay? And the 10 of Pentacles is long-term success and the Knight of Wands. I feel like he was having to fix her problems over and over and over again. The way this reads to me is like he wanted to save his job and save his ass and he wanted to save his public image. So what he did, he feels he did in order to protect himself and protect her. But I I would I it wouldn't shock me if he played a hand in this or a hand in covering it up or something like that, allegedly from chambers only. It just wouldn't shock me if that's what happened, um, just based off what I'm seeing. Um, I do not think that she's innocent, I'm sorry. And I know that probably upsets a lot of people. I'm sorry, you're not gonna convince me that she's innocent. I think that she's very good at manipulating people. I think she's very charming, charismatic. I think she's extremely good at getting men to do things for her. I think that that's what she's been doing for years and I think she learned it from a young age. Um, but um, I just, I just feel like perhaps there were other people involved. It could be her dad, it could be someone else, it could be a boyfriend. Maybe this is a boyfriend. Maybe this isn't her dad, maybe it's a boyfriend. 
Because the Ten of Cups is there, which means that it's someone you're close to that considered almost like family. That could be a boyfriend. I don't know. All I can say, or even a guy she was just fucking at the time. All I can tell you is that there was definitely someone here that felt like they needed to protect her, cover things, and fix things. Um, the sun is upright, the devil card is reversed, and the nine of wands. What did you do now? That's what that is. Things have gotten way worse. The devil card is reversed, which means like, what the fuck? Your rebellious nature is that of of a demon basically or feeling like someone is like super negative and toxic and the sun is upright is it possible that she was not in her right state of mind when the baby was killed i don't know was it can i say murdered or is that just alleged alleged murdered i don't i don't really remember if they mur they whatever when the baby was killed is it possible that she was in her right mind because i'm gonna be honest with you devil i don't think so I don't think she was sober. I'll tell you that. I have a hard time believing she was sober. Because to me, I'm going to be honest with you, a bunch of apathy, okay? A bunch of apathy, the devil card here, which is toxicity, drugs, alcohol, right? Um, struggling with your emotions, being checked out. Because I can, I'm in her energy, and I tell you, it's. I feel like I've, I, okay, in her energy, this is what I feel like. I feel like I've snapped, I feel like I lost all my emotions, and I feel like a zombie, which, I'm going to be honest, it feels like I'm barred out. So that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm fucking barred out. So that's what's kind of like, that's where I'm kind of, ouch, I just hit the mic. I'm so sorry. That was probably so loud. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but I just feel like Ace of Swords is regrets. Four of Cups is reversed and Knight of Cups. Is it possible that she just... Is it possible, I don't know how the kid was, I don't know how the kid died. Is it possible that she was just frustrated and was like, just stop crying or just stop talking. I just want quiet. I just want quiet. And then was like out of her mind and did something. I don't remember how the, the kid died. And I probably should have looked that up before I did this, but I forgot. Because I'm like seeing her, this is what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm seeing her like barred out, in my opinion. Like out of her mind, like just numb and just be like, just shut up, just shut up, stop crying, just shut up, just shut up. That's what I'm hearing. Did she give the kid, did she slip the kid something or did she like, I don't know, did she, was it smothered? Like how did it, I don't remember, but I'm definitely feeling like, I just hear her saying like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Did she smother her? Because I just hear her be like, be quiet. And it's like taking something and like because i'm seeing like a hand over the mouth be quiet fuck i really need to research the case again fuck oh well whatever i feel like i feel like she was just frustrated out of her mind what is wrong with you girl i don't know i mean i just feel like she's it's so hard for me to read this because it's like i just don't have empathy for her i'm sorry i'm sorry if that upsets people i just don't have any empathy for her but which is rare for me, but the Empress is verse. Oh my God. Shitty mother, shocker. Um, the chariots upright and the page of swords. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I just don't think she was someone who is, who, who should have even had a child in the first place. I feel like maybe she was forced to have the child or something. Cause I just, she's just was no, she's just, I do think there's something wrong with her. I'm going to be honest. Um, for me, like when I'm in her energy, something's mentally not right, clearly. But I don't think she had the connection to a child that most people have. I don't know if that's postpartum. I don't know if it's like some other mental illness. I don't know. I'm not a psychi psychiatrist. But I definitely think that she did not feel – she does not have – you don't have empathy. You are void of empathy. You don't have empathy. That's what it is. You don't have empathy. I'm wondering if she went through a lot of traumatic stuff in her childhood and 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 lost her ability to have empathy or if she was born that way. I'm not really sure, but... There's no empathy there. Like you don't, 
pe people aren't humans. They're objects to her in this in this energy. I don't know how it is now, but mm, lover's card. Two of Wands, you're in the way. Ew. I see her feeling like, oh, you're in the way. I'm trying to get attention from men or I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get that. And you're tying me down, Eight of Swords. I feel tied down. You're tying me down. You're a weight. You're like an anchor. I don't want to be anchored. I'm too young. Like, what the fuck? Bye. Girl, she is not innocent. Get over yourselves. Bye. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just can't see her as innocent. I'm sorry. I don't see her as innocent. Do I think that someone helped her or at least try to cover herself up or protect her? Yes. But do I think she's innocent? No. I don't. I'm sorry. I do not. She's a pathological liar, y'all. I'm sorry. The Page of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. She will do whatever it takes to advance her motive. And she's very convincing. Sorry. No. That's what I see. I'm going to leave it at that. That's the update, y'all. I'm sorry. I. It is what it is. All right. Remember, if you like those, you can always tip. There's a link to my paper down below. There's a button on YouTube as a heart. It says, thanks. You get money directly. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and for Daddy. I'm live on most of those platforms, and I will do readings for my viewers on all those platforms, TikTok and YouTube and Twitch especially. Um, These readings are all legend from Tim. Personally, until next time, bye. Go watch the last video. Watch this one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.